Hello, Max NG7M here. This is a kind of a pre-video before uh, several videos I made when I first put up my uh, DB18 using a NN4ZZ tilt plate. And so I need to kind of qualify the videos. Uh, I was a little challenged in my yard with a tree, and um, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to cut down the tree. So in the video, you'll see the tree and the LM470. Uh, Tash and LM470. It's actually the older Triax version I bought um, used. And um, a couple things uh, I, I kind of go through. Um, it's been a few weeks ago now um, that I put everything up. But when I tilt the antenna up, um, in one of the videos, I keep saying I'm going to have some slow mo video. I meant to say uh, time lapsed video. And I had the rotor hooked up because my, my whole intention when I tilted the antenna up um, as the antenna went from horizontal, I was going to rotate it out of the way of the tree. But um, the antenna, come to find out, and I didn't realize this till I was done, I needed to recalibrate calibrate the rotator um, because I couldn't turn it the way I wanted to turn it. So I ended up tilting up the antenna. When I got it high enough, I actually extended the tower and one of the uh, trombones was um, holding the antenna so it was horizontal in the tilted up position so that, you know, I actually have the antenna on its end. So it, it wasn't pretty in the time lapsed, um, but it had nothing to do with the NN4ZZ tilt plate. Uh, but actually, without the tilt plate, I couldn't have done, you know, what I did, working on the antenna on the ground. And, and uh, anyway, just to kind of qualify some of that, um, I know Al and N4ZZ has been looking for the video, and I wish I had a lot better time lapse video towards the end. Um, but it, 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 the best part it was right when it flipped out of the tree. And um, in hindsight, once I got the uh, rotator calibrated, I, I could have done exactly what I was going to do as I tilted up the antenna. I would have rotated it, looking from underneath the antenna, I would have rotated it. Um, counterclockwise um, clockwise from the top of the antenna and I believe I could have you know easily been able to keep that antenna out of the tree and so that's what I'll do when I bring it down in the future but hopefully I mean I've been documenting this project and the antenna is working great the NM4ZZ tilt plate was um, well worth the money and the amazing part is is I was able to do all this uh, with just myself and my wife. I mean, it, it, it's amazing that you can, you know, I had family help in digging a hole and everything else, but, um, you know, I didn't have to have this huge antenna party and bring a bunch of guys over from the local club. I was able to do most of the, this on my own, especially when I got to where I tilted it up. It was just my, my wife and I. It was uh, pretty amazing. But um, uh, enough of me yapping and we'll just transition into the rest of the videos. Uh, jump ahead if you get bored or whatever, but um, the, again, the time-lapse thing right at the end is very short, but you can see as I get out of the tree there, uh, you know, with the tilt plate, it drops right horizontal, and um, everything is great. So, thanks for watching. Max ng 7 m again, and after an early morning on Labor Day, um, the beam is ready to go up, so I'll Switch over to a slow-mo video after this one and hopefully the uh, crank up will, will be smooth. So with a lot of help this morning from uh, my uh, XYL, N7 Energy, she's got more energy than I have. But um, anyway, I got the element trusses on for the trombones and I'm real happy with that. I've got them a little bit higher than the center element where this is a DB. 18 and not the E, so they'll look nice up there. It's just purely aesthetics, I guess. And then I like the fact that those trombones are a little more horizontal, though. They're still bowed down, of course. In case any water gets in there, it'll work its way to the end to the drain holes. But that gives you an idea of um, what we're doing here. And um, I've Retightened the Fernco, is it Fernco? Fernco boot several times. Boy, the uh, cold flow on those boots is for real. 
it's amazing you can get them tight and then come back in 20 30 minutes and tighten them some more so the recommendation to do that is for a good reason so it's literally um, ready to go here on bringing the, the uh, tower back up so let's come over here swing around kind of see it from this angle focused and um, with the tilt over plate and for and then a 4ZZ tilt over plate kind of level this off and kind of see where where things are and um, as soon as this ends I hopefully I'll have a slow-mo video of the uh, putting the tower up last shot of the tilt plate here there's the control cable box car lock kind of see the trombone elements here This was an older antenna, so I actually bought brand new sweep tubes, so these are the latest and greatest design. I think it's been pretty consistent for a number of years now. But um, that yellow dot being up is a good sign <laughs> that the drained holes are on the bottom of those sweeps. So this is the reflector side. And probably way too much video here reflector side Get a shot there. We'll come back over oh one thing I, I don't know that I've had in any other videos is the passive 6 meter element you can see right there I don't know why they just don't sell that with the, the beam but it generates another 100 bucks for stepper I guess keep them in business That ends up giving the six meter um, beam gain, I think it's around 10, front to back ratio is much better too, but you can't reverse the <coughs> antenna on six meters, you gotta rotate it like a traditional Yagi, so life's pretty rough. Um, that'll be nice. And the other thing I haven't really ever videoed is the Orion. So OR 2800 fits in this tower nice on the factory plate there, as you can see. So the tilt-over mechanism was brand new. Picked that up in, when I was in Visalia earlier this year, but the tower is used. And it has the factory uh, positive pull-down up there, if you can see that, which is nice. And, um, oh, another thing I haven't videoed is this, the antenna standoff. Another nice little goodie from uh, KF7P here. He does a, a dual pulley design, which is really nice. See if I can... So you get the, when you're pulling up, you know, you're, I'll be putting up a sloper for 160. And the rope's closer to the tower there, which is nice. And then you've got a nice pulley and out here so that's all ready to go and hopefully the next shot will be uh, slow-mo on getting the tower up above the trees here bye all right everything's ready to roll here I have my helper n7 energy <laughs> she's full of energy I am this is Melissa not really uh, so I've got it rotated a little bit and uh, we got a little tree to deal with and I knew that all along so we'll see how it goes but uh, everything's been double checked and triple checked and I think we're ready to go here and so what I'll do is I'll time lapse the um, the video once I you know start cranking it up and so stand by all right.
right, here's the big moment. The big moment. We'll start cranking it up for the first time and then we'll switch to uh, time lapse. So Melissa will be the uh, camera gal. So here, I'll crank it up a bit. Alright, we'll switch to time lapse now. Stop it.